setting up the sheet guides correctly is fundamental, because if you set the guides too loose, the stacking quality will be poor. But if you set the guides too tight, the stacker will jam frequently. The sheet guides need to be adjusted according to the paper dimensions. For sheets shorter than 715 mm or 28.1 inches, start by loosening the end stop adjustment knobs on both sides of the machine. Extend the sheet guide support fully and pivot the sheet guide supports to their vertical position by pulling them at the same time in the middle to avoid misalignments. Do not tighten the end stop adjustment knobs yet. Loosen both sheet guide height knobs, lower them and tighten. Take the sheet guide and slide it on the sheet guide supports so that the sheet guide rests on the stacker table. Loosen both sheet guide knobs and extend the guides outwards. Press the pause resume button on the control panel of the MPS Excel. Table will move and set at the correct receiving position. Place a sample of the paper you are about to stack on the table and adjust the end stop so that it is 3 to 5 mm or 0.12 to 0.20 inches away from the paper. After setting the correct position, tighten the end stop adjustment knobs. Guide set too narrow will result in jams. Adjust the set sheet guides width so that its sides are also 3 to 5 mm or 0.12 to 0.20 inches away from the paper. Remove the paper from the stacker table. Take the paper support and position it as close as possible to the sheet guides. Move sheet guide height knobs up so that they are at or slightly below the level of the stacker table. Once done, tighten all the knobs. It is recommended to start with loose placement of sheet guides to allow for proper stacking. Once proper stacking is achieved, adjust the sheet guides inwards to improve stack quality. For sheets equal or longer than 715 mm or 28.1 inches, remove the sheet guide and paper support. Loosen the end stop adjustment knobs on both sides of the machine. Move the sheet guide supports together to the longest position. Once done, fold them down by pushing them at the same time at their midpoint to avoid misalignments. Loosen the table extension locking knob under the table. Manually move long sheet end stop to the outermost position. Manually move the long sheet guide width to the outermost position. Place a sample of the paper you are about to stack on the table and adjust the long sheet side guides 3 to 5 mm or 0.12 to 0.20 inches away from the paper. Adjust the long sheet end stop so that it is also 3 to 5 mm or 0.12 to 0.20 inches away from the paper. Tighten the locking knob under the table. Remove the paper used for the setup. Take the paper support and install it at half of the paper length on the table. Now the MPS XL is ready to run.